Hi guys, this is Sadeh from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest ColorOS 15 ROM which is a port from OnePlus 12 onto the POCO F5. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. A few important points, first and foremost, this port is aimed at the POCO F5 running the RAM version of 12GB. Currently my phone has only 8GB, although you might see the plus 4GB but that's just rubbish it's a ram expansion by taking the storage originally my phone has only 8 gb so if your phone has 8 gb then the ram then the rom might not work along the expected lines i will have a look at that as well and verify the result moreover the rom flashing is somewhat different we have to erase the factory frp from the phone as well and after that we have to extract the super img file and flash that file as well so please have a look at each of the step very clearly and do not miss any step whatsoever so with that said, let's now get started. First and foremost, you have to get hold of the latest Android SDK platform tools for my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I've done so in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once you've done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. The debugging is required for ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the booter on your phone. So let's now enable both the toggles. For that, go to the settings menu about phone and tap on OS version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. As you could see, once that happened, go back, go to additional settings and you should now see developer options. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone. So check mark, I'm aware of all the risk and then you have to wait for 10 seconds. Once that time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK and you might get one more prompt. Again, tap on OK in that prompt and with this, the debugging is now enabled. Let's verify the same. So go to the address bar of platform tools, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command form inside platform tools directory. Now type in ADB devices and verify that we're getting an ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB fixes and verify that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, you will now have to unlock the booter on your phone. Do note that unlocking will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and what as well. If that's well and good, then you could refer to a guide and the video and get this job done via the official me unlock tool. Once you unlock the bootloader, you will now get hold of the latest OnePlus 12 ColorOS port for our phone from this link. You will now have to erase the factory reset protection onto your phone as well. So type in the fastboot erase FRP command. You might not have done so up until now for any other custom ROM, but for now, for this ROM, it's required. So do so and it's now done. Extract the entire ROM zip file. So right click on it, choose extract all and hit the extract button. The ROM will now be extracted. And once you have got the ROM zip file, just you have to open the flash all.bat file. Double click to launch it. The flashing will now start. It will first extract the file and flash it. So guys, the flashing is now complete. And as soon as that happens, the CMD window will close automatically and your phone will boot to the OS. Do keep in mind that the first booter will take up some time. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. From the subsequent time, that would not be the case. And as you could see, we have just got the boot animation. So let's wait for a few more seconds. In the meantime, let's discuss something. So this was the first way of flashing the ROM. Apart from that, we may also flash the ROM using the recovery method. But that is somewhat complicated as well as lengthy. In that, you had to flash the ROM zip file. And apart from that, you also had to flash the super.img file by tapping on install image to get the job done. Whereas in this case, you just have to launch the flash all the bad file and the flashing will take care on its own. And as soon as the flashing is done, your phone will now boot to the OS. So let's now get started with the process. Let me choose the language as English. Thankfully, it's there in the first screen itself. Next, agree to the terms and conditions and import from old device. So if you have an old Oppo, Samsung, Oppo OnePlus, Realme, you may choose this option or let me skip this for now or you may also connect your phone to the Wi-Fi, link your Google account and restore all the data from any other Android phone from iPhone or Oppo Realme or OnePlus. Oppo Realme and OnePlus are from the same parent company so that is why they are giving us the same option or you may also restore from the cloud backup such as Google Drive or any other source of your choice. You may also add an unlock option. Let's choose the gesture navigation and with this we are now inside the Color OS 15 based on Android 15. As you might be aware, since it's based on the Chinese region, there is no Google Play Store. Instead, you will get the 
app market and apart from that these are the various folders swipe left to view more apps and you could view all the apps from here and these are the system apps pre-installed my oneplus it also has some of the oneplus apps and this is the qs price so as you might be aware beginning with the oxynos 15 and color was 15 you have the ios style notification and qs styles so if you swipe from the right you will get the qs and from the left you will get the notification you may choose that option as well or choose the classic in which you have both in the same window which was the case earlier as well so let's choose a new one and the new one from the left you get the notification drawer and there will be no, no qs styles as you could see and from the right you will only get the qs styles there will be no notification from here in the right hand side apart from that you may also customize it and add more icons from here as well show tiles name or hide the tiles name and show this on the lock screen or hide it then apart from that let's now access the settings menu of this phone and all the color OS 15 features you could get hold of from here you just have to connect your phone to the Wi-Fi online and get the job done in wallpaper and style so let's agree and continue so these are the various themes that you could implement over here this was the default theme let me choose any other this is the theme let's apply it you may also implement more themes from here from the store and this is the theme which you have just implemented anyways let me now stick with the default theme only for now then you have quite a few wallpapers as well these, these are the classic wallpapers and the live wallpapers let me have a look at some of the live wallpapers got it and these looks quite nice so let me have any other as well well i haven't seen such great wallpapers in ages earlier i used to have these live wallpapers so for now let's keep this one only you have the option to set in the lock screen a different one and on the home screen a different one or the same across both so for example you may choose this in the lock screen and in the lock screen as well you may also do more customizations we'll have a look at that later on first let me apply it on the lock screen in the home screen let's choose this one so both are di different now let me show you now so in the lock screen as you could see this is we have in the lock screen and as soon as I unlock my phone this I get on the home screen let me show you once again so the animation and colors have changed very smoothly that's quite great to see and apart from that you have the color was 15 wallpapers as well these are the four, four wallpapers then the sublime grandeur blossoms calm light and shadow zen planet and three composition you may also get more wallpapers from the store as well then apart from that this is always on display let's keep it enabled so this is the seamless or the classic let's have a look at the seamless only then you may choose from these patterns or text you may make a new pattern yourself for example if i write something as you could see the patterns are being made and you could implement that on your phone as an aod style or you may also add a text agree and continue allow so for now okay so you will have to download the english language and then you will get the english keyboard so well it's quite difficult for now for me as of now to type in english so anyways you get the gist you have to just go online and download the english language and then it will get your job done so for example let me try typing in d well it's quite difficult typing in over here let me skip this for now then you may also add this aod for example the carbon footprints the homeland insides the clocks as well these are the various clock style that you could choose from so it has more options as compared with oneplus 15 or cn os 15 the color os 15 has more port options of the clock styles these were not there on the oxygen OS 15 port so let's try and use any one of these let's hit the apply button and it's now implemented let me enable aod first so we might have to do a system ui restart and only then the changes might take place so this is the aod clock and analog clock as well you have numerous analog clocks that you could choose from some of them are really funny and so you could choose any one of these and change the color as well then apart from that you could also add an image if you want and then you may go to online and get hold of more aod themes as well then we have the font size of whatever font you choose will be applied across the entire ui and ux of the os likewise you may choose more font styles from here as well and go to the icons agree 
these are the classic icon styles radiance this was not there i guess in oxygen 15 the shadow you get the black theme but not all app icons are themed material ui this looks nice as well pebble and custom let me enable the art icons rounded corners and hit apply so although the shadow was the best for me but not all the icons are shadowed in color so let me enable art plus icons and now let's as you could see now it's somewhat black theme let me show you that and now it looks much better so i have got a habit of using the app drawer so i'm swiping up but as you might be aware by default you will get all the apps in the home screen only there is no app drawer by default you may also change the colors and theme from here so either choose these themes color or use the wallpaper colors as well for now the wallpaper colors are not working so you only have to choose the colors from which are given here and the color change will take place across all the apps okay talking about apps just give me a second i would like to see whether the color os has this feature or not in the calculator app you might very well be know what, where i am going now so agree and continue one plus one plus equals two well it's there so it's back now that's quite great to see you may also use the scientific calculator and even you have the conversion as well of various units from here as you could see anyways getting back to the job you could choose the colors from here and apart from that the edge lightning so whenever you get a notification you will the edges of the border of the phone will light up and you may also apply this to all the incoming calls as well and as you could see this is quite great to see well video ringtone this i am not aware of i might have to go online and have a look but as the name suggests you might implement a video ringtone for every incoming calls as well apart from that home screen and lock in the home screen you may choose a standard or the app drawer let me go with the app drawer because that is what i usually use let me switch and the app drawer is now implemented and now we could swipe up to get all the apps and then you could see the theme is now black in color the app icons are now black which i had applied and if you are facing any ui bugs then you might have to do a system ui restart or the oi os restart this should fix then all the issues so for now as you could see in my case i am facing some issue with regard to the just a minute i am not even aware of this so let's get back to the home screen and layout and let me choose the standard only hit the apply button switch and now it should work so as of now in this port the app drawer is not working it's not a major bug it will be rectified in the next build for now please stick with the standard only and don't use the app drawer then you may change the home screen layout and add more app icons over there as well 5 cross 5 or 5 cross 6 as well but for now let's stick with the default one because that's quite well and good i can pull down gestures swipe upward on the left or right of the screen to pull down app icons well that's not a major use case scenario then you might double tap to lock on the home screen to lock the screen this is working double tap to wake so currently that is not working then swipe down on the home screen to implement a global search let me see so the global search is now enabled and you can type in and search from the web on your phone as well and across all the areas of your choice then show search at the bottom you may also hide the search bar at the bottom which is given here it's completely optional then double tap to turn on or off the screen raise to wake lock screen magazine so you may swipe left or right for next image so okay so let's have a look at the wallpaper settings you may add your images from here according to your choice and interest interest so again you have to go online to get hold of the wallpapers and then you will get the magazine on the lock screen so okay so we have got a few lock screen wallpapers as you could see swipe up from the bottom and then you may get more information regarding that as of now we only have a few wallpapers when you go online you will get more wallpapers over there so with that said you want to swipe to unlock and let's get started with the next process so again i have enabled double tap to turn off the screen or turn on let me see now double tap to wake is working so it was just a feature and not a bug then apart from that let's have a look at display and brightness over here you may also schedule between dark and light mode and you may also schedule the dark mode at the time of the day then you may change the font and display size enable image sharpener 
and let's have a look at the supported apps the, this will enhance the quality of the images but will lead to additional battery drainage same goes with the video color boost this will also lead to additional battery drainage okay screen off animation i just saw that feature as well okay screen attention and apart from that the notification and quick setting tab toggles in the status bar we have a few options as well you may show or hide the required icons in the status bar show or hide icons show numbers or just do, do not show anything for now let's stick with the icons that is quite helpful and battery style let's say vertical and as you could see it's now change loop the changes are being implemented at the top right or you may also hide it horizontal is the one which i go with battery percentage show or hide then you may show or hide these icons in the status bar as well apart from that there are a few other tweaks as well which you could customize for the ql styles then next up okay so you also have the ai tweaks brino so in the brino i have you have to agree to the terms and condition and then you could use the ai currently i'm not a fan of ai whatsoever so i will not use the ai so you have to sign in let me skip that for now so the ai tool is now active let's and as you could see these are the ai writer ai voice brino touch brino suggestions all of these are there for the ai tool but you might have to be online to use it then hey tab is the cloud storage wherein you if you want you may sign into your account and restore all your data and back it up as well but you will have to log into your account for me i am just using the google drive which will get the job done and from here you may update your phone as and when there is a new update available about device you could see it's the latest color was 15 and all thanks to the lazy bone developers who has made this impressive port so you may go and thank him even though i'm using the 8gb ram but it's working well and good without any issue whatsoever well you may even expand the ram by 8gb more but i usually don't use all these things because i doesn't find them much useful it's just on paper and guys that's just about it if you have any queries with regard to any of the flashing steps do let me know in the comment section and if you long press on the wallpaper over here you may see the transition effects roll and cube so there are various 3d animations as well so it was there in the earlier zombie phones as well when i first used the redmi note 3 and all these things are still there which is quite great to see you may also change the icons and wallpaper from here and add the widgets of your choice from here or go to the all section and okay apart from that if you want to add the google play store onto your phone so for that what you have to do is first and foremost turn on the google mobile service in settings system and update google settings so let me have a look at that as well settings system and update and google settings which is here enable the google mobile services google settings as well so go there and make sure to log into your account if required then you may open the app market which is here and from the app market you may simply search for google play type in the google play and install the first one which will be named something like this as shown here or the play store and then install it onto your phone you will then get the google play store onto your phone without any issue and if the i guess as the time of recording this camera was not working so let me have a look at that as well while well, okay so the camera is working well and good it's quite great to see so the camera is definitely working let me show you just give me a second I agree and continue so i just took a photo and the camera is in fact working as you could see over here it's working well and good just a minute this is the camera so there is no issue with the camera whatsoever there was a camera bug which now has been rectified and this is just a photo which i had just taken onto my phone and it's quite well and good the camera sharpness is also great so guys with that said i round up this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching